So I ended up reading one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books. I feel like there was more. I feel like I'm definitely missing some. The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. I would give this book 3.5 out of 5 stars. It's about a girl who is clairvoyant and she lives in a world where being clairvoyant is illegal. So she's constantly in hiding but then she gets captured and lots of cool stuff happens. I really enjoyed the character. I really liked the world but a lot of the times I felt like the world was underexplained. Like the author just assumed we knew stuff and I didn't. Daughter's Keeper by Aylet Waldman. It is about a girl who gets involved in drugs. She just gets caught in the middle of something and it's about her trial and her family. 4.5 out of 5 stars. Slaughterhouse 5 by Kurt Vonnegut. Uh, it's about time travel and war. 4.5 out of 5 stars. The only reason I'm not giving it the full 5 stars is again because I feel like I didn't completely get it. A Wild Ride, the humor is so dark and wonderful. I love that. It also makes a very good point about war and what war does to people. Blue, Lily Lily Blue by Maggie Stiefvater. Third installment of the Raven Cycle series. I'm going to give this book 5 out of 5 stars. It was just an amazing continuation of a series. Super unique. The writing, it just gets better every book. Characters, I mean, you fall in love with all the characters and they're all so different. None of them really have the stereotypical character tropes that most YA novels have. Loved this book. Aristotle and Dante Discovered Secrets of the Universe. Right now it's not finished yet because I'm filming this for future me and future me will have finished it. I'm sorry there's no review for this. So far I really like it. It's about friendship and possibly gay stuff like both of those. Me and Earl and the Dying Girl, I am giving this book a 1.5 out of 5 stars. It's about this guy named Greg who kind of gets forced into a friendship of a girl who has cancer. I hated Greg. He narrates the whole book. All he does is complain. All he does is say that he doesn't know why he's writing this book. Greg, if you don't want to write this book, don't write this book. I just hated the protagonist. I hated every character in this book. I hated Earl. Earl was the only redeeming character and then his storyline went absolutely nowhere. The second book I read that I also don't have right now is called I'll Give You the Sun. I'm going to give this book 5 out of 5 stars. It's about twins, Noah and Jude. Noah and Jude's mom dies and so like leading up to her death is narrated by Noah and several years after is narrated by Jude. It'll make you cry, it'll make you appreciate your family, it's about love and friendship and siblings and just it's it's a really special book. Anyway, I am at college now. Well like right now I'm not. By the time this video is uploaded I will have been at college. I wonder what college is like. I wonder if I like it. I wonder if I cried on the first night when I was alone. I wonder if my roommates are good. All these questions will have probably been answered in the previous video. Time travel. I like it. I still don't have a sign off. How does this happen? How do I not have a sign off? Nope. I got nothing. See you later, alligator.